All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video. May the Most High bless you. I pray everybody is doing well and having a blessed day. My title now says, Trying to Have the Best of Both Worlds. There are actually a lot of people out here trying to be holy and trying to be worldly. And um, I want to take time out to give a shout out to my man, uh, Mr. Wiley, um, in this video. I was looking at your um, email this morning and uh, you looked at the older video I did on Empire. So what I want to do in this video is talk about trying to have the best of both worlds. But really what I'm saying is that when you try to serve, as the Bible teaches us, when you try to serve one, you're going to hate the other. You can't serve two masters. And um, that's a double-minded person. That's a confused person. A double-minded person, as the Bible teaches us, is unstable in all their ways. They fight. They toss and turn. Since you were talking about empire, well, Lucius is a great example of that. When you look at the man, can't sleep at night. The man is messed up. He's confused. He he's he he's double minded. He's unstable. He think he is a god, you know. And it's a lot of people in this world that's just like that. But when you understand that the world is a system, then you see the two different systems. As my brother uh, my brother PP Drawings talked about in his videos. Uh, if you get a chance, go to brother PP Drawings page. PP drawings and uh, check out the series he done on what in the world is the world I tell anybody that, that look at me man to go check those videos out and you will learn something I guarantee you you might even get mad at what you was taught growing up but check out PP drawing series on what in the world is the world and brother PP drawings once again I always thank you for being obedient brother and much love to you thank you for doing that and um when I went back and looked at your videos again, as a matter of fact, brother PP drawings, I thought about this title a while back. How you see even Christians, preachers, and and so many people who call themselves children of God, trying to have the best of both worlds. They trying to get it. Most people I know trying to get all they can out of the kingdom, but they're not even seeking the kingdom. And then some just got their hands out. And, and well, God gonna make it. He gonna make a way for me, you know, brother. God, this, God, that. So many people sitting back waiting on the most time to do stuff that they should be doing themselves. They just flat out lazy. So, but not to stay on all of that. Um, but when you look at how the Bible says you can't serve two masters, you will love one and hate the other. If you're trying to have the best of Satan's system, there is no way that you can have the best of the Most High system. Because when you serve in Satan's system, you're going to continue to wind up hating what the Most High laid out for us to do. What, us, what, what our Father told us to follow. To be obedient. Because a lot of people are more drawn to Satan's system because it seems like everything happens immediately. I can get blessed immediately. Well, brother, sometimes God take too long. Uh, I've been waiting on this and waiting on that. The question is, how long have you been obedient? When you try to serve two masters. You got double-minded men and, and, and double-minded women out here who's trying to be a part of both systems. Now, according to who you are, how much money you got, how popular you are, you are putting a, a whole nother bracket by people. They worship you. They worship you because of who you are and what you got. Look at how many people worship Jay-Z. Look at how many people want to be like some type of celebrity. They want to be like somebody because they're looking at a, a, a painted picture of, oh, they got this and they got that, but they're really not looking at what goes on behind closed doors. They're not looking at how these, these folk that they love going through this, going through divorce, going through some kind of rehab, going through this on this type of drug, stuck on this, stuck on that. When you, when you put the camera behind the closed door, you will see that the majority of them folk that you love is, is messed up and you wouldn't even want that lifestyle. You wouldn't even want it. But these type of people that most people are, are worshiping, they are looked at as some type of God. I want to be like Beyonce. But when you, when you break all of this down and take a great look at 
how so many of these artists and, and celebrities and, and, and entertainers, I'ma just say, get on TV. Oh, I thank God who is the head of my life. Lil Wayne. I call I don't care about what their name is. Lil Wayne damn near is insane. <laughs> when you look at him, listen to how he talk. Look at what he served. Or how Kanye West, what, what's his name? Kanye West would tell you one minute, Jesus walks with me, then the next minute. Hmm. He sold his soul to the devil. Those are double-minded folk who are unstable in all their ways, but they all they they got all the money, they got all the fortune, they got all the fame. I want to be like you. Better be careful who you talking about, who you want to be like. And little children, if you looking at this video, you better be careful who you trying to be like, because it's more to life than twerking and popping in videos and and riding on rims with grills in your mouth and talking about hoes and guns and thugs and I want to be like this and want to be like that. You see the end of that. It's it's a terrible situation at the end. It, it, the ending is terrible. More folk that you love and, 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 and worship and now, look at them. They ain't in their right mind. They demonized to the fullest. But they, a lot of people are trying to play a part of both worlds. Why are you saying this, JT? I'm glad you asked. I deal with a lot of people. And let me let me go to the streets because I'm from the streets. Most dope dealers that I know, gangsters, thugs, pimps, every last one of them go to church faithfully. They often some type of youth department. They some kind of coach the the gangsters. They some type of this. They 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 doing some type of good. So they can still fit in and look like they still a part of both worlds. So they can say, I ain't just a dope dealer. I'm hip and I'm I'm the little league football coach over here. Or I, I I'm the I'm the coach, I'm the basketball coach in the hood over there. But soon as you let out practice, you go back and sell dope to their parents. You see what I'm talking about? But look at how many people in the neighborhood gonna praise them because Oh, they doing something good. Just because you're doing something good don't mean you have the right heart. And just because you're doing something good don't mean you're doing it for the right reason. I see so many young men, especially young men, who are following the lifestyle of a dope dealer. Because that's what they see. That's who they hang around. And let me, let me, I'm not going to let up. It, it, it ain't just in the world. It, it, I mean, you look at the church too. I mean, think about that. Look at how many preachers are looked up to. They worship now. Or uh, that man over there because he's a Sunday school teacher. Or that deacon over there. But that deacon right there is, is in the club and drunker than you. I know too many people that's trying to be a part of both worlds. Well, I'm going to be, I'm going to look like God on Sunday. But I'm going to look like Satan on Saturday. I'm going to be a part of this during the week, but I guarantee you when Sunday hit, hey, so I'm I, hey, I'm a part of both worlds. I'm, I'm getting the best I can out of God's system, or you thinking you are, but I'm really getting the best I can out of Satan's system. See, just because the dope dealer got more money than you, look like he's doing better than you, driving a better car than you, don't mean that that dope dealer is doing better than you. Let me tell you something, I'd rather be broke, busted, and disgusted with a roof over my head than to be wicked and looking over my shoulders trying to sell dope, trying to trying to make a wicked lifestyle. I'd rather go out the hard way. Let me go to let me clock in. It's better for me to clock in than to stand on the corner. See, I'm talking to, I'm messing with some of my partners on here because I told you, keep looking at me long enough. I'm going to say something to you that's eventually going to hit you or make you want to change. I know all of y'all won't change, but I love you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to condemn you. I'm, I'm giving you a wake up call. I'm giving the dope dealers, the thugs, the pimps, the hoes, the prostitutes, the homosexuals. I don't care what your sin is. I call them all out. Liars, adulterers, the getting high weed heads. I mean, whatever that's got you. Away from the most high is your God. See, when the Bible says you, you cannot serve two masters, those two masters could be anything. 
Some some men got women as their masters. They can't they can't leave the hoes alone. See the most time they tell me to be to be easy in these messages and and and, and oh tickle your ear, give you something. No, I'm going I'm gonna say something. If you're living a lifestyle of sin, you better get it right and repent. Before you close your eyes and don't wake up in the morning. See, I might lay down at night and don't wake up in the morning. I don't know when I'm going to die. That's why I don't play with my life. I know one thing for sure. The most I got my birth certificate and the most I got my death certificate. So in between time, I better be trying to live my life according to that book right there. I'm trying to help somebody along the way. You can't have the best of two worlds. But I know too many, they, they justify, well, I'm right because, hey, man, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing this for the kids. Thanksgiving coming up. I went out and bought 40 turkeys because, you know, I'm going to give that, you know, God going to bless me for doing that. So many people are doing things just so they can hurry up and get a blessing like that. When you look at these two different kingdoms. You see that the Most High Kingdom operates a totally different way than Hollywood. I mean, excuse me, Hollywood. And if once again you are in love with Satan's kingdom, you're not going to fit in with the Most High Kingdom. Anybody that loves this world is an enemy of the Most High. You know, I'm thinking about some of my partners that have died. Let me say it right. They really done took themselves out. Because of the crazy lifestyles they lived. They didn't live long. They ended their lives. They didn't care nothing for doing right. And I hope I, I hope I can get a couple of youngsters to look at me in this video. Because I'm trying to tell you something to give you a wake up call. Because you can hang around and be around the wrong folk. And you can be getting killed, murdered, being stuck in somebody else's situation. But I was talking to one of my partners the other day. I, you know, I love when a, when a dope dealer gets delivered because a lot of dope dealers and gangsters have such an impact on the, a lot of the, the, the teenagers in the community and different people. And when they see them get delivered, then they really can see that there is hope. I love when the prostitute gets delivered. I love when the homosexual get delivered. I, I love when the thugs come clean and I tell them, you know what, you still a thug. But you know what your T-H-U-G mean now? You're a true hero under God. The Most High God. So you thug it up for the Most High. In the good way. See what I'm saying? You, you, can, you, can, you can change up what you're doing. But trying to get the best out of both worlds. Because you, you know what these folk over here going to say about you. Or you know what these folk over here going to say about you. Well, you know what? That preacher right there love me, man, because he know I'm a heavy tired pill. I'm so sick of so many preachers now. Not all, but so many preachers are, are, are what you call it, um, they, 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 they calling out folk name who are heavy tired pill. Or they, they, because of them, our church got this now. But you ain't concerned not once on how that person's soul is. Well, he put in, that man over there just gave a hundred thousand. Because of him, my church got built. What in the hell is your church built on? Hmm. What is it built on? See, most folk now are corrupt. And, and, and you look at what you see on television, it's sick to your stomach. Because everything that come, I was just telling my mama this. Oh, I'm trying. I'm not trying to make this video long, but I gotta let the camera roll. Why? Why? Why I feel like I feel. I was just telling my mama this. Everything you look at now, especially with the quote unquote so called black woman. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just say the term black. Y'all know I don't like using the term black because that's not what we are. But everything you cut on now. They're going to make sure they keep showing you the black woman being portrayed as a whore. Like Mary Jane. Or like Kerry Washington on Scandal. Now it's always the hoes that's the black woman. Why is that? 
or the black man got to be the big time dope dealer slash or the homosexuals now. Why are they popping it up so much now? Because they know we going to watch it. Desperate housewives are hip hop in Atlanta. All these, these, these things out now, ain't nobody getting along nor trying to get delivered. All you see is confusion and mess. It ain't nothing right about none of them jokers. Keep you confused. I want to be like Mary Jane. I want to be like Carrie Watson. Do you see what you're looking at? Messing with married men, hoes, double-minded. So what? They got a nice crib and, 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 and got something nice to drive, but mine is messed up. But everything you cut on. Oh, man, I, I, can't, I can't miss my show tonight. I, I got to look at this. And a little kid in the back room said, I want to be like Lucius. Mm. Little daughter saying, I want that lifestyle like Mary Jane got. Y'all, the Bible teaches us in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 and 16, right behind each other. They said, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, which is what? The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. The pride of life. When you're looking at Lucius on Empire, that's what you see. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. His whole family is just like him. That's why they can't get along. They all want to be gods. They all got the lust of the eyes. That's what attracts is the eyes anyway. We see them eyes and you know what? The pride of life. That's say they don't come from the Father. But from the world. Whose world? Satan's. Who is the God of this world? Satan. That's why I say when you look at when you look at TV, what's going on in Hollywood, what most of these rappers are doing, all the entertainment that you see, many people are doing whatever the hell they got to do to stay on top. If it mean being crooked, if it mean being gay, if it mean taking the oath, if it mean doing a blood sacrifice, they don't care what it is. And then them same ones will turn around and say, I thank God for what I have. You notice they never say what God. Well, I'm going to be at your church. That's why I love this title. Because it's actually people trying to be doing the best and looked at as the best in both of the worlds. We can see that with many of these prosperity preachers. They're only concerned about fortune and fame. That type of prosperity, which is the same prosperity as the world. You don't hear them talking about your soul prospering. They love Satan's empire. They getting rich or they going to die trying, just like the movie 50 Cent did. That's the old saying, get rich, I'm going to get rich or I'm going to die trying. That's what most preachers are doing. They talking about 50 Cent and he out there in the world and he whirling and rapping and all that, living that crazy life there. You you talking about fifty, but you look at what you doing. Only difference between you and fifty is you in the pulpit doing yours. You don't even need a gun <laughs> to rob the folk you rob and just pick up a Bible and have a false doctrine. Y'all, one of my partners who off in the game told me. He said, "JT, I know you always got a good word, man." And it, he said, y'all always preaching. He said, I hear you, but I just got to be me, man. I'm doing what I got to do out there. He said, but JT, you know what the problem is, man? He said, you know, I go to church faithfully. I'm even on the usher board. I said, yeah, I know. He said, when you look at the inside of most church buildings, y'all just check this out. This is what my partner told me. Slang and dope. He said, I go to church heavy, man. And what it is, is I've been taught how to go to church. He said, I've been in church all my life. 
And most of my life, I've been selling dope and going to church with no problem. He said, you know why? Because when I look around the church, JT, all I see is the preacher begging. Don't nobody say nothing to him. He said, we got a homosexual on the organ who bring in his, his gay buddies. Don't nobody say nothing to him. And they have many members. He said, the members don't say nothing. He say, I, the one that's over um, the, the youth ministry, they lifestyle messed up. He say, nobody says nothing to nobody. So I fit right in with selling dope. If you're going to say something to me about selling dope, then you got to get the gay man off the organ, get the crooked man out of the pool pit. You're going to have to get the, the drunk deacon that's at the strip club more than me. Uh, everybody, you might well close the church up. And I thought about that and said, hmm. And y'all know my old saying, I said, that's why most churches done became a comfortable place for sinners. He said, that's why I do what I do, bro. I, yeah, I sell dope, but I turn right around and help people. See, y'all, what I'm saying is real. That's why I said in the video the other day, how the inside going to help the outside when the inside is messed up? How you going to invite in the outside when the inside is messed up? How you going to do outreach ministry and you can't even do in-reach ministry? How you going to do missionary work and you jacked up in stationary work? The blind leading the blind. And see, you just happen to be a dope dealer looking at this video, a thug, a prostitute, a gang member, whatever you may be. I love you. But I don't let up on what you are. If that's what you are, that's what you are. But here's the thing. You don't have to stay what you are. I'm here to tell you you can do better than that. You can quit being that. You can become whatever the, what it is the most high had for you to be in the first place. You don't have to go out like your mama went out. Go out like your daddy went out. Change this message then, Father. I don't even know where I'm going with this message now. All, it all goes together, though. You don't have to be a prostitute or a whore because your mama went out that way. You ain't got to wind up in prison because your daddy is in prison or your daddy died on the streets. You can make a change, but you can't do it on your own. You have to be willing to give up all of this stuff. What will you give up for the most time? My partners, I pray y'all listening. Y'all always talking about movies like American Gangster. Menace to Society, New Jack City, so on and so on. All the movies that came out. Yeah, when you look in them movies, so many of them, New Jack City, they worshipped Nino Brown, didn't they? Didn't they? Nino sold so much crack, took over the, the, the complex, Sold to the same ones and then turned around and played like he was God to them. You a dollar to. Huh. Old man couldn't stand that. Then he turned around and showed them some love by giving back. Let's give back now. As soon as they get through giving back, feeding them, they're going to turn right around and pump more dope in them. But look at the end of Nino Brown's story. Hmm. Pow. Your soul, old man, made took took judgment in his own hands, didn't he? Told him your soul is required in hell. Frank Lucas sold so much heroin. Look at how many people want to be down. Look at how much money they made. Money on top of money on top of money. Got so much money, ain't got nowhere to put it. I hope my partners, I hope y'all still listening. This part of the video is definitely for you. They worship Frank Lucas. But look what happened to Frank in the long run. Is it worth it? To everybody that's looking at Empire, yeah, look at Lucius. Got his empire. But look what he got to do to keep it. As a matter of fact, look at his older son since we're talking about Try, oh, thank you, Father. I, I, I was wondering how this was going to work. Since we're talking about being the, being the best in both worlds, look at Lucia's older son. Trying to be holy. Done went to church, got so-called saved and baptized. 
supposed to be set apart, but he can't stop playing the part of his father's messed up satanic empire. So he trying to serve God and Mammon. Woo! Look at that. Trying to serve two masters. And wonder why he got to keep putting a gun to his head. Wonder why he having them, them old breakdowns and just mentally jacked up. Because that's all demonic. Look at him. Look at Andre. Want to be holy. Got baptized and, and, and went down a, a, a dry devil and came up a wet devil. The only way that boy going to make it if he get out of his father's kingdom. Hmm. I ain't talking about the most high. He, he need to get out of Lucius' kingdom, the empire kingdom, Satan's kingdom, let me say it like that. See, y'all, once again, there is nothing wrong with having nice things. Let's teach this right. The problem is, is when the nice things have you. Our father is not broke. Even though so many people want to walk around like, oh, man, y'all sure was just a poor broke man. I mean, he didn't care about nothing. No, our, our Savior showed us what, what was important. Ain't nothing wrong with you having stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Money is not the root of all evil. But it's the love of money that is the root of all evil. When you start getting that love of something is what takes you out. Most preachers got that love of money. And they trying to have the best of both worlds. Preaching to you how to get rich. But really on the other hand, taking all they can out of you. Trying to have the best of both worlds. And they teaching they flock that. Have the best of both worlds. Our Savior told us, plain as day, what happened if you try to serve two masters. He further all said that the person would love one master. And you're going to serve that one real well. But why are you serving that one? You're going to hate the other. So in the cases that we're talking about, most people are hating the most time. They don't like Yahweh. They like Satan's way. Our Savior came to serve. See, when, I, when, I, when our Savior spoke about treasure... Some of us didn't catch this, but when he talked about treasure storing up, notice that he talked about an earthly kind, and then he talked about a heavenly kind. What are you storing up? See, some of us got the spiritual eyes, and then some of us got them messed up, confused eyes, because we blinded by that old devil, the prince of the power of the air, the wicked one, that old dragon. That old serpent. I'm going to close with this. Ooh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Because I'm reminded of the rich young man. That we could say the rich young ruler. Some say it was just a parable. It didn't happen. It did happen. Each today on what you believe on that. It's in the Bible and just learn from it. I say it like that. In Matthew 19... And it's in other accounts. Yahshua, when, when they met up on that road, that young man said, what must I do for eternal life? I'm just paraphrasing, y'all. First, our Savior advised that man to, well, you got to obey the commandments. Hmm. When he thought about it, well, you know what? I've been keeping them since I was a, at young. I was a youth, so I know about them commandments. You know what? What else, Master? What else? What else can I do? Yahshua said, I tell you what. Everything that you got, why don't you go sell your possessions and won't you give to the poor? And you will have treasure in heaven. Huh. Then take up your cross and follow me. Rich young ruler didn't want to hear that. 
He didn't want to hear that. He thought about what he would be giving up. He thought about what he worked hard for. He thought about this is mine. I can't lose this. I can't give this away. If you only knew what I went through to get what I got and where I am today. Oh, some of us is just like this. We won't even give nobody a shirt out the closet that we ain't wore in three years. I, he thought about what he worked hard for. Mm. Couldn't do it. See, it wasn't nothing wrong with what he had. Wasn't nothing wrong with the possessions. Wasn't nothing wrong with that. But you know what the problem was? He let the possessions have him. Wasn't never nothing wrong with what he had. He didn't want to follow the most high because of what he had. He let his possessions take him over. Mm. Just like like just like Lot wife couldn't let go of the house, the land. That's what we worked hard for. I can't I can't leave Sodom. I can't leave Gomorrah. I don't want to go nowhere. This is all I know. So she looked back and got set back, toe up. Woo, let the church say amen. Message. Don't let what you worked hard for, your possessions, stop you from getting into the kingdom. I'm still talking to my boys on here. How much do you value your life? The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? See, if the show Empire, if Lucius don't wind up going to the lake of fire, then something wrong with that whole thing anyway. Because he's so far gone. Oh, I'm just trying to tie all this in together to the ones that look at that. All that whole family going to pretty much lose their soul. Because they all robbing and stabbing each other and killing and murdering whoever they got to get just to keep the empire, not to keep the most high. How long, my brothers and sisters, are you going to wander around doing what you're doing, thinking it's going to last forever when you know it's wrong? My boys on there, how long do you think the street life going to last? <coughs> Excuse me. How long can you sell dope? How long are you going to try to make a living selling dope? As you're getting older and older, when you got all these snitches out here, folk watching you, you're already a two-time hmm, loser. On you going on your third strike. You got a little boy to raise, a little daughter to raise. Babies. People are dying every day not knowing who the father is. So once again, when you looking at these movies, these stories, and real life, Nino died. And he didn't know he didn't know nothing about the most time. Mm. Can't take nothing with you when you leave. Menace to society. Kane didn't even make 20 years old. Barely graduated. You saw old dog. Doughboy. On bars in the hood got murdered. Look at the end of the movie. And it's always the innocent ones like Ricky that get killed too. See, what's your point, JT? Too many stories don't have a happy ending. Let yours have a good ending. Let it have a good ending. Lucia said on Empire that he is God. Lawrence Fishburne said on an old movie called Hullum that God don't come in his house and he don't go in his house either. But he did at the end, didn't he? So my brothers and sisters, just because these celebrities and big time folk are doing good things all the time or donating this or, or doing this for charity or buying this and buying that, that don't make them holy or about the most time. 
Man, a lot of stuff done been done through religion that ain't got nothing to do with the Most High because the Most High didn't design religion. You know how much dope and weapons and guns and, and, and crooked mess they done ran through the churches for I don't know how long? Most people use the church building to do all they dirt. So just because somebody got on a suit and, 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 and passing out goody goodies and all this stuff don't always mean that they are of the most high. Trying to do their best they can in both worlds. I'm going to look the best in Satan's world and I'm going to look the best in the most high's world and most people thinking they holy. You can't be when you set apart. You can't be a part of Satan's world. If you are in God's system, as P.P. Drawing said, and you're doing your best, you ain't in Satan's system. See, this is the time a lot of crooked people is about to do some things because it's holiday season. So many people finna go out and buy a turkey for somebody, and, and you had folks been starving all year long. Man, the hell with these holidays. But right on with the holy days that don't nobody really talk about. The wicked ones love this type of year. So y'all, that's why so many people turn to the wicked because they get their help. I know dope dealers that do do more than they church is doing. But look at their heart. So that's why they looked up to as a God. So y'all, that's my time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to close out with this, but uh, I just saw this to all my people in D.C., Washington, uh, Washington, D.C. I just saw this because we all saw what happened to, down there in Paris. It's getting worse about a minute. But I just saw on the news where ISIS was praising them ones who did those terrible things in Paris. So now they're talking about hitting Washington, D.C. next. ISIS is talking about heading toward D.C. So I'm just saying this to my people in D.C. Wake up call. Another warning. My prayers are with you. Be careful where you're at, who you're around, what you're doing. I know when somebody's going to do something, they're just going to do it. It's just like when the earthquake hit. Ain't nothing you can do about that. If you walking down the street and the whole road just crack up, ain't nothing you can do about that. But I'm just still going to throw that out there. So y'all have a wonderful, blessed day.